Channel 5 spares no expense. This isn't the kind of boat I wanted. No goal for the jailbreak, guys. The girls got out first, but there's still silver to play for, so as George Michael didn't sing, let's go inside. Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. Your chance to escape with a fortune. On tonight's show, Ben has a go at Giuliano. All I'm saying is you're overanalyzing. I've come up with a very simple plan. Mm. Basically, this is what happens. I know you're getting exasperated, but this is what we're doing tonight. And the guards burst in on an escape. Well, well, well. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, no, no, they've been nabbed. This is jailbreak. Welcome to jailbreak. The seven inmates still incarcerated in our prison have only five days left to escape and claim the next prize of £50,000. Last night we left you in the adjudication room loft as no fewer than five of the prisoners were caught by the guards. Up there, Michael found four vital things. A clock, some bolt cutters, a clue and a map. Let's find out what happened next. <laughs> First, Michael hides the map down his trousers. Stay there. Grab him. He's up there. Then he seems to stash it away. The boys and girls are rounded up. Check if there's any more, please. Let's go, ladies. Michael is searched. Nothing is found. <laughs> Jenny thinks she knows what's happened to the map. They've taken the clue. They have. It was in writing and I tried to look at it. It's a map. Up there, you saw it, the light. There's a five in lights. So he has he hidden it up there, is he? They have got... Basically, what it is is... I reckon when you hit that switch, you've got five minutes... Because it to said get, five minutes yes, on the timer. ..to get out. It, basically, I think it deactivates the lasers for five minutes. So, basically, they were out. They would have been out tonight. They're not now. It's interesting that Michael makes no reference to the map. Instead, he talks about the clue. Just don't let me forget this. To open the gate, the back door... Don't type in the numbers of Winnie's ex-friend's birthday. Who? Winnie. I haven't got a clue. That's all it said. Did you, you, really did you read it as well? You oh, well, I'm <laughs> and they I'm in. I wish we'd had locked them out. They did get a key. I'm yeah. with that. Yeah. I think it was stolen. Yeah. I don't think they, they made it, but it doesn't matter. They've done it. We'd have done the same thing. Um, but they've hit the map. You're saying it's still up there, got, or has no, he got it? He's got it. That's why they took so long to get down. Yeah. Either Peter or... Um, Peter or Michael's got it. Yeah. But I tell you what, they did not... Ex we should have locked the door behind us. That was a big mistake. Yeah. We should have locked that door behind us. I can't believe that I made that mistake. I should have locked that door behind us. Yeah. What a twit. How oh, they came from the day before it all the time. All the time. The girls. They're good. Good or not, they won't get out tonight. The guards are on their metal. I tell you what, they're not going to try nothing before five because that alarm will be off. No, hey, we're in there till twenty to seven. Yeah, but I'm saying that's when the, mm. that's the time they're going to try it. Well, what are they doing in the beds? They'll have one on, four so on, keep and they'll clean. just wake each other up to keep. You watch. So why were the inmates in the loft? Well, that small space holds the key to the next important stage on route two, the no-go area. Let me tell you about the four clues that will lead them there. The first is the written clue that Michael found. To open the gate, key in the date of Winnie's ex-mate's prison fate. 
The answer will give them the code to the gate behind the adjudication room. There's also the map which Michael hid. This shows the position of a series of invisible infrared beams. Then there's the five minute countdown alarm, which is activated when the bolt cutters are removed from their position. The inmates have to work out what to do with everything. They've also got to decide who to team up with. The jail psychiatrist, Dr. Sandra Scott, found out where their loyalties really lie. Well, in the men's camp, after an initial despondency after the three women escaped, they've now managed to pump themselves up. But unfortunately, the price they seem to pay for this is their unity. And now, under the surface, they seem to be beginning to fragment. Len and I are finding a frustration is that every time we talk about something, uh, we find that not so much Peter, but Ben slams it down. And who will you be going with? With Ben. With Ben. I've said to Len, at the end of the day, Len, you must appreciate that things will go wrong. Mm. And I said, just follow my lead, OK? It's all about being flexible and rolling with the plan. Well, I think Jules is better to go with the other two lads, because he's, you know, they can pull him through it, if you like. Me and Michael, especially, have, have got the skills, I believe, to get in here and out of here. Um, quietly and with a bit of tact. Um, Giuliano hasn't got our sort of um, background, but he will um, definitely give it his best shot and, and hopefully he's not too um, aggressive in, in getting out. So we have Ben and Len together, and they're a great match in skills because we have Ben with his organisational skills and very used to playing it by the rules, and we have Len who actually brings the ability to see around the rules and maybe bend them when necessary. With Peter and Michael, they have quite similar uh, skills, both with sort of strength and speed, and Juliana will bring the sort of more intellectual side. We'll have to wait and see if she's right. But before any of the jailbreak seven put their minds to escaping, there was a game of volleyball to win. Right, gentlemen, prepare to die. <laughs> Ooh, I like, I like the train. It is my mind. To boost flagging morale, a volleyball game has been arranged between the guards and the inmates. But Len says he's feeling poorly and decides to sit out the match on the sidelines. To me, yeah, yeah. Come on, Mike. I'll play Mikey. Lane! Great, mate. That's going to come this come way. While the yeah, governor man. looks on, on Len Mike. has got plans of his own. Yeah. Come on, guys. Set it over. Well played, Jen. Oh, you Where did you touch? Go on, Len. Go on, Len. Go on, Len. Go on, Go on, Len. Go on, Len. The prison guards win a point. And while their backs are turned, Len takes the opportunity to try and win at his own game. The jubilant inmates win the match 3-2. But Len is out of luck. Ben, Michael and Peter shower while Len and Giuliano discuss Laura's hold over Peter. I was more not a Ben as much as Pete because he seems to change straight away since Laura's gone. Yeah, there's a side of me which thinks um, the guy's actually very, very straight. And um, but I hope she hasn't got her hooks into him. No, I mean, it's, it's his life, isn't it? I mean, that's, sure. But what I'm saying is, she played, I don't want she it to be. Him, yeah, I don't want it because because I don't. Cause, I don't want to get hurt. What I'm saying is, I don't want to get hurt. Laura's got there. I don't want th to think that Jenny might be, be able to sort of manipulate him and touch. I think, that, and actually, I have to say, I think they made a really good. They're very. I think they're really well suited to each other. No, but I want this team. Out. That's what I want. Not a bleeding. I don't want to play blind date, do I? Pat and Jenny are also having a heart to heart. You are completely different. Completely different person. I can tell you now, Pat, mm. I actually sat down and thought, my God, what would I do if I was left with Pat? Yeah. And now I can't think of anybody better other than Bob. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? And, and not, nothing against Laura or Hannah no, at all. No. But, but it's I am just somebody... so pleased. Now, yeah, look, guys, 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 there's a problem. Do you have a rubber? Yeah, I do. Have a rubber, please. Oh, not that kind of rubber. Rude. I don't know any of those. The boys are concentrating on their escape plans, but Giuliano starts to complicate matters. All I'm trying to do is analyse this door. But you're over-analysing it, Jules. 
All I'm saying is you're overanalyzing it. I've come up with a very simple plan. Mm. Basically, this is what happens. I know you're getting exasperated, but this is what we're doing tonight. There's okay? time and lot for these. We go in here, okay, we go in, we get through the governor's back door into that corridor, we assess what the situation is. If there's a back an exit out there, that's the one we take. If there isn't, we come out of there, we head for the front, okay, we come in here and take that exit. Yep. Simple. Yep. The glass. more you overanalyze it, the more difficult Concrete. it becomes, the I more we get through because of the glass. Which glass? To escape, they've decided they need to split up. One group will go via the governor's office, the other via the visitor centre. But they need to coordinate the times of the two escapes. We can't get caught and left behind, and if you guys are going early, then we have to go early. I think they'll go, but the first break is at 10 o'clock because of lockdown at half past nine. So soon. I think you've got them 20 minutes from lockdown. You've gone up, you've got down, you've got the bolt croppers, yeah. right? The 20 minutes has gone, we're still in there. You've gone through, the gate's open, the door's open, you've gone through it. Yeah. What's, what's to stop the girls at that time? You can't, the guards will be in. And so what's to stop the girls following you? Oh. Coming into the After we've cut all the roofs down. And that shares the 25 grand, so that means we're down to 25 grand between five of us. It's a massive escape if they join us. Some of the boys suggest blocking the escape route from the girls, so they have a clear run at it themselves. But Peter says no. Wherever I go, yeah. anybody who goes with me, I'm yeah. blocking the route. It's as simple as that. Quite I don't right. give a who likes it or who doesn't like it. It's as yeah, simple as that. Pal. I'm not yeah. blocking the route. Exactly right. the, the others don't know that Peter has already promised to show Pat their route. Yeah. <coughs> it's six o'clock yeah, roll call. Easy, Michael, uh, Giuliano and Sorry, Peter, you get extra work. Sewing sacks, OK? Three of the boys are on punishment duty for trying to escape. Jules, Jules, I don't oh, want to stop you in the tracks. But you're sewing up the wrong one, mate. I'm not. You are? This is the what? side. No, it's, you sew the, the, the short side. You're both doing it. No, what, you sew at the side, then? Wrong cut. What's the, the reason side? for that for? It's got to be the long side. Because cut that side, It's actually it? sewn all of it. You sew all of it, do you not? The top as well? Well, you, you stole that one, I'm sewing. Meanwhile, Len visits Pat and Jenny. <laughs> oh, mate. What's up, mate? I'll snap that. So, well, to be honest with you, then makes a special cool. plea. The only thing is, yeah, I do want my team to get out second. Of course you do. Because I don't want to walk out here because I've got my own personal Peter. credit card bills that I want to pay off. I no, joking the... apart, no, I no, no. Hey, another new tactic. Len's pleading poverty with Jenny and Pat and says he needs to break out next so he can pay off his credit card. But will the girls, and particularly Jenny, the ex-RAF drill instructor, let the boys take over? We'll find out after the break, when we'll be catching up with the inmates as they kick into action after the sun goes down. If, they, if we turn light out, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'll see the light go out. Yeah, of course. Yeah? If we don't... If we're crawling underneath the camera... <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? If we turn the light out, they're going to see the light go out. Yeah? If we crawl underneath and open the door, they're going to see the door open. <laughs> Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. treated hair new timothy cotton with cotton oil experience the power of nature Resort.com. Over 9 million holidays with great late deals. The first resort.com. When you get a flexible mortgage with us, you get a discount up front. Then you'll get two more discounts at set dates, which could help you pay off your mortgage quicker. And if something unexpected happens, we'll even let you take a payment holiday. Security. Insurance. Advice. Maintenance. Saving. Moving. Building. 
At the Boots Optician's frame sale, even some designer frames are as little as half what you'd normally splash out. It's my mission to make sure you get the best of the catch. It's my mission to bake the perfect loaf. It's my mission to find the tastiest cheese. And it's mine to make sure these bananas are just right. My mission? To discover the finest wines from around the world. And it's mine to tell you about our great offers. My mission is not to burn the toast. I'm Paul, the store manager. And it's my mission. And it's my mission. It's my mission. It's my mission. To bring you the very best for less. Terminator 2, tonight at 9 on 5. Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. Welcome back to Jailbreak. Behind me in our state-of-the-art prison, five men and two women are doing all they can to escape and claim their share of the £150,000 prize money that's still up for grabs. The boys have spent most of the day planning how to break out that night, but Len was worried that the girls might get in their way. Len's first move of the night is to tell the girls not to spoil the boys' escape plans. So are you going to go tonight? You want to get to three out? Yeah, you've got to get three out tonight. Three out tonight because we it, don't have time. Yeah, I think it's definitely that three at the back that's going to go. On his return, Len shares a vital piece of information. Take it easy. I know the call number for the back door. That's right. I seen him putting it in the other day. I'll check on what, is it just what we said. No, I don't know how you got them figures. 180718. No, it's 1963, 1963. I don't know where you got that from. 1963? Definitely. That's not a birthday of any big friend of Winnie's. The girls, going along with Len's wishes, settle in for the night. Thank you for my cup of tea, darling. Sure, darling. Giuliano, Michael and Peter discuss the code for the back gate. I'll put down by the side of the thing and I'll tap the code in. Yeah. I'll put in... Um, 1963. 1963. If that doesn't work... No, one, yeah, 1963. One, bottom right, 63, corner. was it? 1963. Yeah. 1963. One, top left. Nine, bottom right. Up one, up another. 1963. Yeah. Right. So Worried he might forget the code, Peter writes it on his hand. Yeah. Basically, it alludes to Nelson. Ben and Len leave them to it, as they have their own route to explore. Once that door opens, they're not, it's that, that, uh, that, the bolt cutter thing's not going to kick off. The moment you open that door, it's got a contact thing. Yeah, yeah. They'll come pounding down there. Right, well, you, you talk about that, if I see something in that ditch, Jules, all the time, I say, Jules, go. Yeah. You just yeah. follow me in that ditch. Absolutely, go. absolutely. And the other thing is, when, when you're out there, talk really clearly. Sometimes when you, I can't understand what you're saying, so be very clear, OK? <sighs> just, just, that's just because I can't. My eyes, my ears, my funny ears. Steady, Eddie. All right, totally steady. Take your hands off. Come on. Okay. We're gonna wait 40 minutes. I hope there's nothing funny down there. With the plans laid, all they can do now is wait. <laughs> Whilst the girls relax in peace and quiet. Giuliano and Michael test Peter on his memory. Do not panic on them call boxes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One, go on. Nine, six, three, one. Did that wrong, mate? One, you yeah, nine. I'm not being funny, mate. It doesn't matter. I'm going to watch it all. <laughs> one, <laughs> nine, <laughs> six, three, whatever. It goes like that. Yeah. Don't matter what way it goes, it's got a number on it, too. Yeah. yeah, that's always the only thing that can go wrong. Oh, Jesus, I'm not in the middle of it all. 
can do this tonight. Yeah. We'll just ben, who's there. been on guard patrol, gives them the signal. They hug each other and prepare for their great escape. So tonight's the night for the boys' big escape attempt. They've planned, they've trained, they've bided their time, and now the boys are ready to split up and go for two escape routes at once. They've said their goodbyes, but are they being a bit premature? The lads emerge from the tunnel. It's Len who's last out. While the others head for the adjudication room, he and Ben creep towards the house block turnstile. But the guards have noticed a reflection from the camera positioned inside the visitors' room. They now know Peter, Michael and Giuliano are out of the dorm. They don't know about Len and Ben. The other boys continue, unaware of the jailbreak alert. Back in the dorm, Len and Ben can only hope the others avoid capture. Miss Wallace went running down there. Just heard of it. Peter, Michael, and Giuliano breathe again. But moments later, Officer Wallace is back. see the light go out, yeah? If we crawl underneath and open the door, they're going to see the door open, yeah? Absolute <laughs> Absolute <laughs> That's the... I mean, what do you expect me to do? Come play by my rules. We'll play by proper prison rules, shall we? And there's more bad news. Peter's lost the key to the adjudication room. 
you don't talk. They've not got the key, mate. How? They locked it. Because it was in the door, it's on the f***ing turn when she oh, pushed it in. Shit. What can I do? Try and get it out? Oh, you know no. I've been watching them. Yeah, go on, Sid. Then, a lifeline. So can one of you come here because I've got some advice? We yeah. can't go there because there's only two of us. All right. I've got two let's, ideas let's, for you. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you know this one's going. She's got your key. Oh, right, stay where you are. We got one. We got one. We got one. Jenny hands over her own key to the adjudication room. It works. That's how I got him. Yeah, yeah. You owe me. Well, will Jenny regret giving the boys that key? And will her dorm mate Pat ever forgive her if they're the only two left inside come the weekend? They've only got five nights left to try and break out. So if you want to help any of the inmates escape before then, call 09015 and leave a message. Or log on to the website at www.channel5.co.uk forward slash jailbreak and send an email. You could win £5,000 just by joining the escape committee. Well, we'll be back tomorrow at 7am, live from inside the jail. And then again at 7.30 in the evening. Until then, bye-bye.